Yes, sir. No problem. With these, you know, UFOs, um, are those, according to your understanding, what, what are these um, these UFOs? They're not in the scriptures. Have you ever been in okay, the army? Okay, but what, but what are no, they? No, no, let me ask you. So what are these? You. Okay, Have go you ahead. Have been in the army? Say that again. Have any of you brothers on this platform ever been in the army? Military, army, national guards, navy? No, I, I myself have not. Navy. Okay, well, in navy. well, brothers will tell you, if you go to Area 51, which is a real place, they have thousands of what we know as UFOs. I don't know if they're running them for test subjects or whatever, but they're there. But that's I got, the only I got a question, though. That's the only proof I, I can show you, but in the Bible, there is none. But what's your question? I, got a question? I got a question, though. Do you know that these top elites said that they saw black men getting off these spaceships, these so-called UFOs? I could believe you know, it. I right? read studies. I didn't read studies of people saying they seen black beings come out of them with eyes all over them and everything. I, I agree, but I'm saying pertaining to the scriptures. Okay. There okay, is this no is very good. This is, well, this is very good. So, so just so, oh, okay, real quick, real quick. So, so according to um, what is that Isaiah chapter sixty six verse fifteen? It says what that the Lord will return with his chariots. So my question is, well, what are the chariots of God then, according to you, brothers? It's the horsemen of it judgment. It says and then yeah. when you read about the chariots. I, you're not listening, brother. What does a chariot? Could you just ride a chariot without just the wheels on it? Or what do you need to be in front of the chariot? A horse, right? When you read about those four horses, that's in Zechariah, that's in Revelation, that's throughout the scriptures. It's talking about the same judgments of the Lord, and none of them are UFOs at all. So Christ Damn is going to so Christ is going to return on an actual like like an Egyptian chariot that's pulled by horses. Is that something like Christ is going to return on? Or you know, you have I rather I rather I rather me being the reader take that example than say UFOs because if Christ is flying in the air with angels, why would you use a UFO, a helicopter, or airplane, a blimp? Come on! But, but here's the thing, though. But no, here's the thing, brother. I have to ask you. No, you got to oh, think okay, what I just you. said. Don't just say here's the thing. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I want to read the scripture. I want to read the scripture. I want to read the scripture. Right. This one ask y'all before you read the scripture. Do y'all believe Yahweh, the power creator of all things, including these so-called UFOs or whatever? Do you think he's going to use a UFO to destroy the earth when he showed us several times throughout the scriptures he can use water, fire, air, famine, and pestilence? I, I'm going to read the scripture. I'm going to read the scripture. No, 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 wait. You got to answer, answer that. that question first. That's what I'm saying. He never used it. Yes, yes. Brother, we, we're going to answer that. We got multiple ways to answer that. Let, let me say this real quick. Uh, one way to prove that, we know that the Lord can do whatever he wants. I mean, hell, the Lord could end the whole world now if he wanted to, right? The Lord's powerful enough to do that. But here's one thing. And we went over this earlier, Revelation 17, 16. It says, what, the, the Lord put Put it into their minds to do it. We will go over that, will. brother. No, 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 no. Brother, 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 let me you never, let us, you never let us read that, bro. We, no, 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 brother. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm showing you where it says it. what. Brother, hold on a second. My phone. I don't have much time left here, so let, let me just say this, and I'll throw the mic right back at you. There's so many ways I can cut you, brothers, on this. So here, I just want to say this real quick. Let me just say it. Okay, that it says what? That the Lord will put it into their mind to fulfill his will. So they're going to use their weapons to fulfill the Lord's will. Right? So that proves, that even though the Lord can do whatever he wants, that proves that he's going to use man to fulfill his will by the weapons they made. And here's another cut, because wait a second, the scriptures say that the Lord's coming on a cloud. Another verse says the Lord's coming with his chariots. But in another verse, it says that the Lord's coming on a white horse. So my question to you is what one of those are right? The white clouds in the sky, a, a UFO, they're or a all, white they're all, Pegasus? They're all they're, right in their similitudes, brother. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The scripture all right, so that's, that's, why gonna, that's why I'm going to read the scripture. Because I want to okay. see how you interpret this. I'm going to give you my understanding, but I'm going to try to interpret this. So this is, Psalms, this is Psalm 68, verse 17. The chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even 20,000 of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. Wait, so you're telling me right now those, those, are, those are not UFOs, angels in those UFOs? That's what you're telling me? That those, those are horses? No, no those are not UFOs. Not. Uh, wow. Wow. What yeah. does the now word No, do you want me to show you? Don't just, that's what I'm saying, brother. Don't just say no because we threw. Let's read the Bible get, and show what yeah, it is. Yeah, I got another precept. Wait. Uh, go ahead. Go, go ahead Wait, so, okay, so when you read this one, we're going to have to address this one and then that other one, too. And the, this one you read now and the other one you just read. Uh, so, but can I can I can I have them read one? Can you read Revelation chapter five verse eleven to answer what you just read? Uh, See, read. this is what I like to do. I don't like to keep it going. Read. Okay, Revelations Revelations five and eleven says, and I beheld and heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beast and the elders, and the number of them was what ten thousands and ten thousands and ten thousands thousands. That's the precept. Well, well, I don't back to the point. point. I don't no, understand the, what the point you're trying to get at. The point, the point was that was the precept to show what that brother just brought out. In context. Okay, okay, very good. 
So, so what are the, the vehicles being described in Ezekiel, the first chapter? So what are the vehicles in Ezekiel, chapter 1? The wheel within wheels. What, what is that? With the living creatures inside them. Don't forget that one. It, doesn't it say Yahweh is a consuming fire? That was the, the verse that I just quoted isn't talking about the Lord. It's talking about the angels, brother. Ezekiel, the first chapter, mentions the wheels within the wheels, and then there's living creatures in the wheels. So my question to you okay. is, what is that talking about? And more importantly, what does the word UFO mean? Do you guys know? It's un unidentified, supposedly, but y'all y'all identified it. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 no, thank, it's, you for, mean, um, thank you for so your time, Pete. I'll have to. Yeah, yeah. Who's thanks that? for stopping by, man. You know, thanks for, thanks for you know, adding to the show. Bro. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay, fight, stay fighting a good fight, man, of faith, bro. And stay in the scriptures, bro. Question all things. Keep blessing, Keep blessing. Keep blessing. Hey, I'll, I'll give you brothers this. I'll give you brothers this. You know, you brothers do know some precepts, right? So I, I will give you some credit on that, that you brothers do know some scriptures. I will give you that. But, bro, um, you, know, you know, too. That's what I'm trying to say, bro. There's no big eyes or little use. I'm not better than you. You know, too. The difference is I choose to read it. You choose to just, I guess, keep asking questions. If you read it. Well, well, well wait a second. Wait, wait a second. I would, re I would read it. I would read it. But I don't have the Bible with me at my current location. Okay. All right, so I mean, I didn't hear you. Okay, thank you. Okay, before you, okay, before you get that precept, is I want to ask this: Is every time Cherries is using the Bible, is it so? You, are you guys saying every time Cherries using the Bible is UFOs? Uh, no, because I'll, I'll give an example. Because when it talks about the Egyptians chariots, that it says the word chariots, but in that context, it's not talking about UFOs. In that context, it's talking about actual. You know, rideable chariots that the Egyptians and used. That's, okay, that's, so not that's, that's, uh, that's after the fifteen four. Okay, so where did that context change? Let's, can we, does that show that in the blue letter? If we got the Hebrew and the Greek for that, well, well this is well, this is a spiritual thing because the it's spiritual. So, so just like it's spiritual. Okay. Well, of course, it's spiritual. Do the most high need a, a physical UFO for a spiritual thing? Because you just made this thing spiritual he, now. He doesn't, so now. He doesn't need that. He doesn't need that. But, but he, he, don't, he don't need us to preach it. the word either. He don't need us to preach the word either. No, we're not using us. Because the scriptures tell you without a man, you will not hear the word. So he does need his men. But he can make a rock or a rock cry out. That's what the scripture says. So don't say that. We're dealing with, he just made it spiritual. So now, think about the Most High. He's already a ruler and controller of all things. But now you say a spiritual thing. So now he's going to take a physical UFO that men have made. I told you, I've been to Area 51. They're there. Men made them. He's going to use a physical thing that they made to do a spiritual thing. When he can just use his spiritual things that he's been doing to Egypt, to Sodom and Gomorrah, to Babylon, to Median Persia. He's been doing like spiritual brother, things. But like, but, but like, like this brother, time, because we're in America. Example, though. No, listen, 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 no, because that goes against Malachi. Malachi says the Most High never changes. You, you, I'm showing you throughout history, the Most High used the same four judgments. He don't change. Oh, okay, but, here, now, but here's time, the problem with that. Brother, brother, here is the problem of what you're telling me here. Because i just proven that even though I do agree the Lord can do whatever he wants, that is true. But true. I've proven that according to Revelation 17, 16, it says what? That the Lord's going to put it into their mind to fulfill his will. And what what is that? To destroy Babylon it's the great thing what, what, what he told is. Pharaoh when he changed his mind to do it. The same That's thing he saying. did when he wait, did wait, to, wait, to, to the Persians. Wait, 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 the Israelites go. Just put it in his mind to do that. Brother, that cuts what you're it doesn't saying, mean he's telling them to forsake this technology. Listen, it don't. Because nowhere did the Most High say, I'm going to put it in their minds to use their inventions to make a missile. He put it in their minds to seek famine, to go to war, to bring pestilence, to bring, like you said, blood, waters. That was him. What about Isaiah chapter 54, verse 16? You, you read that one, one? You guys got it? Or, could you, one of you brothers pull it up for me? Because if I exit out of this, I'll, 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 I'll make me exit out of it. Go ahead. You, 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 you want to read it? 54, 16. Yeah, go ahead. You got it. Uh, uh, Isaiah 54 and what, 16? Yes. Uh, this is Isaiah 54 and verse 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So hey, what does that now, mean? Wait, 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 wait. Read the next verse. Verse 7. You want me to read the Go next ahead. verse? Yeah, yeah verse read the next verse. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper in every time. So that, that cuts your argument. That cuts it. No matter what these heathens, what this world, if you're truly in the most high, ain't no UFO, no gun, no knife, no balloon, no bomb. Now keep reading that wait. chapter to get that understanding. No wait, wait a second, though, but, it's, but it no. says that, that that's talking about the elect there. 
That was talking no, about the electric. The point 16 is 16 and 17. Wait, you can wait, start at 15. Wait, wait, wait. That's talking about San okay. Antonio. Wait, wait, wait. That's talking about San Antonio. Brother, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. But do you agree the text says that the Lord made the Smith who makes his weapons? Do, do you agree with that? Oh, let me, let me, let me unmute it real quick. Sorry about that. Go ahead. My cheers. Yes, I agree. Uh, now, verse 17, do you agree, no matter if the Smith that the Most High made, make this and make that? Verse 17, I, 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 I do. Hold on. I do agree with you. I do agree with you. you no weapon for him against you. Should prosper. I, okay, good. Go okay, good. But, but wait. Reading. Well, hold on. What is the point that you're trying to get at here? I'm not understanding what you're, I went what you're this. trying to I didn't, get at. I didn't choose Isaiah. I was stuck in Babylon, and y'all cut that, and you went to oh, Isaiah. Okay, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh -huh. So what are you guys even trying to argue against? Is what I what I'm at a loss for. I don't even I know what you're trying to argue. Listen, brother, I didn't say go to Isaiah. Nowhere. You can rewind. Uh, okay, the show okay, okay. Wait a second. So wait a second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I hear you. The reason I went here because it says what that I, the Lord, made the smith who blows the coal in the fire, who brings forth an instrument of his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. That shows you that the Lord put it into the men's minds to make these weapons of mass destruction. That's clearly what it's no, talking about there. I'm not disagreeing with that, brother. I agree. But now read verse 17, and that should bring clarity to no matter if the most high do or do or the people, white man, whoever kills us, shoot us. This is solidifying in our faith. Verse 17 again. It says no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of no, the No, we wasn't talking about that, though. We wasn't talking about that, though. You was talking about you said that that the Lord. Why would the Lord create UFOs? To, to, uh, no, I said can, I say, can I say what I said? Can I say what I said? I said this. If we read throughout the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, the Most High always to judge anybody, whether it was Israel or another nation, he used the same four judgments. Now, when we jump to Revelation 17, y'all say he's going to use missiles and UFOs and all that. But I said, why would the Most High change what he did? That would make Malachi and what Malachi oh, said a liar. Oh, oh, Wait, hold on. Let me oh, finish oh, what okay, I said. Oh, I got to finish. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, because well, that will make Malachi a liar when he says the Most High changes not. If he changes not with the way he treats and judges people, he's not going to change and wait to 2021 and say, hey, since these niggas made some missiles, I'm just going to use Wait, this. wait, wait. wait. You, no, you, he you, can you, still you, use famine. Oh, he, can still, he can still, he can still send fire from heaven. No, listen. He can still send fire from heaven at his will. He don't need a missile. He can still. We, we agree. Point. Okay, brother. But he brother, he always, you, where's where you? Brother, here's where you're where you're wrong. We agree with you with that. We're not we're not disagreeing with that. But according to the text, the Lord's going to use something else. And to prove my point, could one of you pull up Revelation chapter 17, verse 16? Let's I'm read this read and tell me it. what this means according to. Okay, thank you very much. Brother. Go ahead. Revelation 17 and 16. That's what you said. Yes, yes. Revelation 17 and verse 16. Uh, okay, it's just 16. Right, the it's 16, we're going to be 16 and 17. It says, and the ten horns with yep. thou sawest upon the beast. These shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate, and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and burn her with fire. Verse 17 is the point. For Yahweh have put in their minds, right, which your heart is in mind, to fulfill his will, and to agree, and give their kingdom into the beast, until the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled. Okay. So see, so see, so God can do whatever he wants. Right. But in okay. this context, brother, 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 hold on. Yeah, but finish, in this context, we, we, just, we just read, we just read. That what that the Lord's going to put it into these nations' minds to send you know weapons, whatever you believe those are, but it, it clearly says that, brother. I mean, I don't see how you can get around. No, it. it literally it says that. We just read. Okay, in that I, I, verse, it doesn't say weapons in there. First off, so let's get that out the way. It says he put his will in there. It says for God have put in their hearts to fulfill his will. Hold on, I let you speak, right? Remember? Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Yep. Cool. It's just respect. It's all good. So it says he to fulfill his will. That same that's this is the same thing we've seen with Cyrus happen. We've seen that. We've seen it with Cyrus. We've seen it with, with Pharaoh. The, the, the Pharaoh. With Nezer, we can go. We can go on and on, on and on with this to fulfill His will. And it's not about no. It's not about UFO the flying saucer. It's His will. Okay, probably, but here's the probably, point though. This, this is the point. I, I, oh, okay, brother, brother, hold on. This is why I came here because it says what that they're going to hate the whore and burn her and eat her flesh. Meaning what that they're going to burn. Babylon. So my question to you first, is how are nations going to quit, brother, brother, brother? Let me let me finish. Oh. Let me finish my. You just talked about not cutting you off, so please don't cut me off while I'm talking, brother. You're right. Thank Go you ahead. Very much. You it. Oh, okay, thank you. So I mean, how can you not see the point I'm saying? The scripture says that these nations are going to burn Babylon. So how the hell is that going to happen? Go ahead. Okay, we might be missing somewhere, each other somewhere, because we never said that. Look, when it comes down to it, everything's getting destroyed. Okay, Period. so it's not. But it seems like you guys are making it strictly America. 
like 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 Ethiopia or Africa, Egypt, none of these other places aren't getting destroyed. That's not the that's not the disagreements. And so and then a lot of things keep going back to to right um it's going back to, to Babylon, right? So if 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 somebody can actually pull up the strongs of um of the Greek of G eight nine um um Greek um the Greek word for um, Babylon is G eight nine seven. But it says that they shall hate the whore though. So, so they're targeted at Babylon. So what I want to understand is okay. what is this fire that they're going to bring to destroy Babylon? Okay. Clearly it's talking Did about weapons. Can you, can you read it? Revelations? No, no, no. Can you read Revelations 18 and 8? I'll read it, brother. I'm going to read it, brother. I'm going to read it. Watch out. It's the same Bible. will. It's the same will of God. Nowhere. We're going to read it. 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 Revelation 18 and verse 8. Uh, it says, therefore shall her plagues come at one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. Wait, stop, 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 brother. Read those well, we gotta judgments continue. again. Continue, no, 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 no. You just read over the judgments. It didn't say nothing about missiles. It said death, what and what? You got to stop. Let's start it over, brother. Because that's what I'm saying. We need to stop doing that. I just told brothers throughout the history, Pharaoh, everybody that we read through Genesis Revelation, the Most High only has four sword judgments. He puts on everybody and it leads you to death. Now, let's start that verse again. Revelation. Your, your point is that you're trying to say the fire is not talking about blue I already know where you go. Oh, I'm trying to show you it's the most high's will. Like that brother just pointed out, it ain't no weapon that y'all just put in there because I don't see where weapon at. It's a will. Now I'm going to show you the most high's will is in verse 8 of 18, Revelation 18. Now can you read? Because you just spit it out and said, keep going. You got to read that. I, I didn't finish. I didn't finish reading. It was like a sentence. Look, I just wanted to finish the sentence. So I'm going to read it again. Revelation 18 and 8. You got it. Therefore, oh, you want me to bring out a word? I'm going to read it again. No, I was going to say Revelation 18 and 8. And the, the final judgment is in 19, but you can just read 8. It's the judgment right there. No UFOs. But go ahead. Revelation 18 and 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. Wait, so who's the her? I just, we, the mystery Babylon that we never could go into because the brother didn't want to read it. He wanted to tell us and ask us, but that's the, that's the woman. So well, that's, that's the whore. That's so, so you, so the her, the her is America. See no. how you just, hey, damn, I just told you what it was according to the context of text and you just said, uh, uh, but, the, but, oh, it's America. I never said uh, it. I didn't do all that. Okay. Okay. But wait a second. Yeah. Hey, here's hey, the, here's the, the thing. Defense, he, he joined late to his defense. He wasn't on that time. Uh, before right, right. But real, 